What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here and what you see behind me is everything I picked up at yard sales over last weekend. I forgot my camera. I didn't really expect to go to so many. I, I This is all from maybe three or four sales that I actually bought stuff at and I got a lot of stuff for free. It was the day of free sales. I wish I had my camera because the amount of sales I walked up to where people were like, everything's free, grab whatever you want, we want to go inside. That was like four or five houses were like that. Sadly, I didn't grab stuff at all of them because it wasn't good stuff at all of them. But let's take a look. So here is the crazy overview. We got so much stuff and I'll tell you guys what I paid for everything as we go through it. I grabbed these Intex Lounge River Run tubes. We use these every summer and they always seem to get destroyed by the end of summer. So we always need new ones every year. 15 bucks a piece, try to get them for 10 a piece. Guy wouldn't budge, but that's fine. These sell for about 30 bucks at the store. So I, it was like buy one, get one free. That's great, I'll take it right here. Everything in this stack was free. I didn't look anything up. So, you know, we got Rock Tour Tycoon for the PC, brand new sealed. I grabbed two books for myself, The Plague by Albert Camus and Fahrenheit 451. So those are gonna go on our bookshelf. Uh, I have no idea if these are worth anything. I'll pop some prices up on the screen if they are. We have a Calculus second edition book. We have a Biology in Focus second edition. We have De Cubre, I don't know, Spanish book and Spanish 2. I took French in school, so I have no idea. Um, <laughs> all that was free, as well as this stack of Sesame Street Big Birds dictionaries were all free, and it's the complete set one through four. Already listed it up on eBay, as you guys can see, and I am the cheapest one on eBay right now, so hopefully they sell semi soon for me. I picked up this Halo book box set, which sells really well on Amazon for about $50. Uh, decent rank as well. The only issue is this second book right here is torn to shreds. So I looked it up, I bought one on eBay for $4.99. It will be coming to me soon. Uh, I paid like 50 cents for this thing, so no big deal. I will wait for that to show up and then I could send that into Amazon. We have a few Harry Potter toys back here. These guys, they wanted $5 a piece. I got all three for 10, didn't look them up. I try not to look too much stuff up when I'm out at people's houses. I don't know what I was just in the middle of saying. The mailman just came to the house, dropped off some packages. Pretty good stuff, that's good. Let's get back into this. I remember now, I was talking about how these Harry Potters, they wanted $5 a piece. I got all three for 10, totally happy with that. Uh, I think that's what I was saying anyways. And I, oh, I was saying how I don't like to look things up at sales. I just don't like to do it in front of people. Sometimes I do, it really depends on the item, but I didn't, I was taking a lot of blind buys because the prices were so good last weekend. These things are selling for about 30 bucks a pop on Amazon. So these are gonna get shipped off to Amazon. Pretty sweet there. This was not a great buy. Probably gonna end up keeping it. This Monopoly Duel Masters for five bucks. I paid the five and it's complete in there. Everything's nice in there. It just doesn't sell for that much. It's pretty big. Don't really wanna ship it and make five bucks, right? So I think I'm just gonna keep it and it could just go on my game shelf. So, hey, that's a $5 gamble and it didn't really pay off, but it's something I get to keep. Uh, this Vineyard Vines hat, now, I wanna explain, I got most of the rest of this stuff at one big sale, and it was $70 for everything. $70 for these Infinity Pros, for these hair curlers, for uh, that mug, this hat, um, this PlayStation, that camera, like a lot of this stuff, that Pokemon thing, came from that sale where I paid 70 bucks, as well as that backpack with a cool surprise inside, you guys will see. Um, great sale, super stoked, let's go through it. Vineyard Vines hat, already took pictures of it. I don't believe I listed it yet. I listed a few of this stuff, but not everything. And uh, yeah, didn't see how much this is going for, but it's pretty cool little St. Patty's Day hat. I'll take it. This totally surprised me. It's already listed. It's a Tiger Electronics Kid Clips. Never seen this one before. I've seen the other one. I'll pop it up on the screen here. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I remember those really well. Hit Clips is what it was called. And this still sells really well, about $40 right here. Pretty sweet, it didn't work when I got it. The battery was all corroded. So I put some white vinegar in there, cleaned it right up and it works beautifully. Uh, Starbucks, or not Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts Tennessee mug. Don't know how much it's going for, but it was cool, threw it in. At one sale, I paid five bucks a piece for these guys. We got Hot Shots Golf on the Vita. Overcooked Gourmet Edition PS4. That's a little gunky, don't know what that is. 
but we got Monopoly for the PS4 and Family Fun Pack for the PS4. Five bucks each, not bad. This was only a quarter, but you know, it was included in that huge $70 buy. Uh, box is really tattered. It is brand new sealed though, so pretty sweet. Gotta love finding Pokemon stuff. Uh, what else do we have? This was at a free sale. It was the only thing I could find. I don't know if it's worth anything, so I just grabbed it. We have some videos here. We got Planetary Traveler, never heard of it, looked really weird, VHS tape, so I snagged it for a buck. Storm Chasers was $2, not sure. And Star Wars Clone Wars Season 1 was $2. This is a good deal. Uh, discs are a little scratched, so I'm gonna have to clean them. This PlayStation 1 was priced at $3. It wasn't, this was sticking really bad, but now it works. It was really tattered and dirty. This piece was actually next to it. It clipped right back in beautifully. Didn't have any cords or anything, so we still have to fully test that. You guys will be excited to see what's in here. I was. Look at this guy. I got him at the same sale with that Duel Masters Monopoly and the Harry Potters. He was $3. I cleaned him up. He was so dirty. I'll pop a before picture up here for you guys. He was disgusting. I hit him with the air compressor. I wiped him with alcohol wipes and really just cleaned him up. He's so nice and clean. I listed him for $60, free shipping, and they sell pretty regularly. So that was a cool find right there. You see this stack right here. We got Star Wars Clone Wars Season 2. We got... Uh, Dallas season one, two, and three, Bangers by Miley Cyrus, Quincy, Mork and Mindy, just a bunch of things. These monster truck classics always do really well for me, so keep an eye out for those. This Canon camera right here, pretty good buy. I think it sells for over $30. It's the Auto Boy Luna 105. Uh, it still has something going on on the screen back there, but the battery's too low to take pictures, so I gotta get a new battery and fully test that. Okay, now these, these are great. These Infinity Pro Con Airs, these things go for pretty good money. I paid, I think it was like three to five dollars each on them, and they're all brand new. We have four of them, so that was sweet, as well as these over here. I got, what, three, four, five, six, seven of these. These were three dollars each, and yeah, all brand new, so. Super stoked to find those. Now let's go towards this bin right here, this box. Mm -hmm. This was also at the same place where I got the Burger King and the Harry Potters. It is cards. What kind of cards? Well, lots of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which are really cool. We had some of these right here. Not sure what they are. Uh, the Caster Chronicles, got a few sets of those. Uh, Naruto cards, it's a little hollow right there. Lots of those, uh, some more Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, more Naruto. I tried to separate them all with these green uh, tabs right here. So that's Yu-Gi-Oh, these are all blue cards that are all holographic, really cool. Um, got more of those, let's see what's on this side. There's some cool things, we got Dragon Ball Z cards. Never seen those before, but I'd like to find that. What else do we have here, more Dragon Ball Z. Uh, some Pokemon cards, nothing really crazy. We got some of these Final Fantasy cards. Just so many different unique cards. Some more Yu-Gi-Oh. I know there was a little bit of Magic the Gathering. But yeah, really cool. I've already organized them all by monster type, health type, and stuff. Just because I enjoyed flipping through them. And these were all the holographics that I found. Um, or these were all the ones that I've scanned into TCG Player that were worth money. A lot of them are holographics. So I'm going to have to get these listed over on eBay. And I'm not sure what to do with the rest of this. I haven't scanned through all of it and I forgot where I left off. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool box of stuff though. Really happy there. All right, the backpack. Now there's a surprise in here guys. It's a D Marini, which is I believe softball or baseball. And it has the little slots for your uh, bats with the little thing to hold it. I think this sells alone for maybe 40 bucks. So that's a great score. But what we have inside was pretty much all given to me for free. Crazy, crazy stuff. It was so cheap that I'm pretty much counting it as free. Let's see, we got handfuls of this stuff in here. They're Disney pins and little jewelry and just, just a lot of stuff. Didn't look any of it up, so I don't know if Disney pin. I think Disney pins go for decent money. Uh, let's take a quick look. What do we have here? We got a little Minnie Mouse purse, a Mickey Mouse purse, a dog bone oh, who's that a little goofy donald these are just so cool so unique uh, there's a little goofy with some flags I, I don't know what all of them are but was that from lion king right here is that the cheshire cat maybe from alice in wonderland 
I mean, there are just so many cool pins here. And then I grabbed a few of these little charm things. Yeah, they all have little bunnies and things coming out of them. I got two of those. I, they might be earrings. Yeah, I think they're earrings. So that's cool. What else? And the rest, I believe, are just Disney pins. There's Cinderella. There's Mulan. How pretty. So cool. Pretty much to get this for free. Iron Man. Uh, I'm stoked. I'm super stoked. There's the Hulk. And uh, was that Daisy Duck? So I'm super happy for that. I believe this is everything. It ended up being a really good day at sales. I will not forget my camera next time. Um, oh, there's one thing over here that I'm re-gluing back together because it got ripped. Let's take a quick look. It's just a little Nerf thing. Nerf flash strike. It was, I think, a quarter. The bottom was coming apart, so I just put some glue in there to glue it back down so it is actually sealed. Uh, it wasn't anything too bad, but hey, I'll take it. it sells for you know maybe five bucks after fees on amazon so super happy about all of that hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions at all subscribe if you haven't already this is thrift school signing out see ya